Today I'm going to show you how to edit your videos for TikTok using DaVinci Resolve. Roll the intro. Yeah. Greetings everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been two weeks since I uploaded anything. And uh, it looks like I kind of puffed up a little bit. Yeah, quarantine life haven't been kind to me. So, anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you how you could format your uh, bigger videos to be uploaded on TikTok. Now, for all those who don't know what TikTok is, TikTok is the latest uh, mobile social media platform that's been hugely trending. And on this platform, you could create, you know, anything from 15 to 60 second scenes and design mostly for use on cell phone and mobile devices. So naturally all the videos are in portrait mode. So how would you take uh, a video that is 16 by 9 aspect ratio and upload it to TikTok? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that by using DaVinci Resolve. So let's get onto a computer and get the venture resolve running and get right to it. I already imported my Nato video that I've done a few weeks back. If you want to see that video in full, I leave a link up in the corner so you will click on there to go check that video out if you want to. But basically I just scroll through um I'll scroll through that video and just select a certain scene and create clips with them. Pretty much uh, cut out about 49 seconds out of that video to be used to upload to TikTok. Like I said, TikTok takes videos anywhere from a few seconds to the most of 60 seconds. So make sure whatever video you're going to upload to TikTok be at least under 60 seconds. Now, as you see here, this is in uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. As I said, all of uh, TikTok videos are usually taken with the phone, so the aspect ratio is in portrait mode. So let's uh, change the aspect ratio to make it look like what it would look like if it was uploaded to TikTok. So just go into project settings by clicking on this uh, little gear icon under my webcam. Or you go to File and go down to Project Settings. Here you just need to switch your resolution values, 1080, then by 1920. Save. And this would be the aspect ratio of what it would look like uh, if it was uploaded on TikTok. As you see here, there's a lot of uh, black empty space on top and bottom. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you know that's what you want to show the whole video. But you can also you know, make it a little more interesting. Maybe you want to put like a social media icon. Yeah. I imported a PNG of a Facebook icon. And you just go in Spectre. Take this uh, Facebook PNG and shrink it down. So, then position it by moving to the left and then moving it down. Shrinking a little more because it looks a little too big. Something like that. Like that. Then you could maybe, you know, add some text next to it, you know. Put another layer of, on top by dragging title, put it on top of it, and selecting it, go to inspector, put in, I don't know, your social media handle or Facebook. Then, you know, change the font. Tomahawk or something. 
change the colors, change the size, you just crank it down. Then you go down to positioning your inspector and you could drag this down like or you could also change the font case. You could have it all caps if you want. You know, whatever you like. How you want to organize your, you know, your text. Got all these values you can play around with. You can also add some caption. You know, add another text node. We'll call this, I don't know, Nato. And you know, maybe you can position this on top, caption, or at the bottom, whatever you like. You can upload this on TikTok in this matter. If you want to attract people to your followers on TikTok, you go over to your Facebook. Or you may want some social media information on video for that. But also, I mean, you want you could take your video and you could blow it up to fill up the whole screen so let's just say we take this scene and we go into inspector go transform and blow it up bit left and right like so and you know as long as it's it keeps whatever you want to focus on in frame it's doable but if if it doesn't, you know, you could always you know, leave the bars on top and bottom and you know, add some interesting captions and stuff. Or blow it up to fill up the whole aspect. So, like over here, let's uh, blow up my uh, face to fill up the whole screen. So. See, it fits pretty well. So. I mean, that's why, you know, I choose uh, this video. So, have a idea of if the video would fit properly by, you know, visualizing it. But sometimes it may not work. It may not be able to fill up the whole screen. You may want to cut down on your zoomed, you know, so you could... Know, keep at least the whole picture and so it's pretty much uh depending on the um then when you're ready you know you could just go here to go to delivery and you would just select uh p4 and it's already got the timeline resolution right here and make the good quality name it and like I said, you know, being that this is pretty much how the portrait mode of a phone would look like, these videos you could not only upload to TikTok, you could also upload to Facebook Stories as well as Instagram Stories. Now, Facebook Story may be a little bit cut off on top and the bottom, so you keep that in mind. I'm not sure if Instagram Story would do so, but I would think it would fit pretty good in both other uh, those two platforms as well. So you can edit with this one veil and you can upload to all three of those platforms and pretty much cut down on your workload. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave in a comment below and I will get back with you. And uh, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel, you know. Let me know uh, if you're interested in more content. As well as, you know, follow me on all my social medias. Especially on TikTok. Being that this video is particularly for TikTok. So, I leave it all over here. So, just follow the one that you want. So anyway, everybody. Have a nice day. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.